Hey everyone, um, this is a brand new way of communication and I hope it's one that you guys enjoy. Um, I wanted to send out a quick um, memo update and quite frankly, I am much better talking if you haven't noticed um, than writing things out in a memo and I think sometimes things get a little misunderstood and it's not always directed as clear as what it could be if it's written out. So I wanted to take a couple minutes and video something for you, put it out there, explain things to you a little bit, and then go from there. So first off, um, hello. Um, we're going to have an Antioch. Well, actually, it's just my YouTube channel. So if you're here from Grays Lake and you got a notification that Kelly posted something on YouTube, I'm very sorry, but this is for Antioch. And I'm sorry, but I miss you all very, very much. And I hope you're all doing really well. Um, hope you guys have started a great school year. I know things are rocky and rough, but it can only get better, right? So I, again, hope things are good. Antioch people, welcome to the channel. Welcome to um, video memos. Again, hope it's clear, concise, and an easy way of communication. So what we're looking at is um, crazy day, crazy week, crazy start of the school year, but you guys are freaking killing it. You guys are going to your routes. You're working in extreme heat unusual, unprecedented circumstances. This year has, year and a half going on two years has been absolutely insane, but you guys are just doing a rock star of a job. And I want to tell you guys, thank you. Um, this school year has started off bumpy, a little rocky. We came, seem to be getting things tossed at us left and right. And you guys are just handling it and you're, you're, you're rising above and beyond. And there's people that are pitching in and helping out and saying, here, let me do this. You're, you're stuck. Let me help. And I just really want to say thank you. Um, we had a bunch of people help out over the summer, help clean out our shop. Thank you to you guys, to Larry, to Gary, to Dennis, to Sonia. Um, you guys came in to Chris, you guys came in, you rocked it and you just helped. And I cannot thank you enough for just helping. Ping, thank you very much for cleaning out around the air conditioner. I mean, you guys are just going above and beyond and, and, I appreciate it more than you know. Um, I know you guys have seen a lot of changes around the office. I know you guys have seen a lot of changes around the building. I know you guys don't agree with all of them. And um, that's always a touchy, you know, subject. And I get that. Um, our building needs a lot of love. And I know it's not the way things have been done before. But it's the direction that things are heading. Um, if you ever have a question on the, th the way and the direction that things are heading, my door is always open. You can always come and ask. Feel free, if you got a question, come and find out from me. Um, I'd rather be open and honest with you guys and tell you exactly what's going on than have you wonder. So I, I need to set that out there and set that straight. If you have a question, please come and ask me. I, I do not bite. I am not scary. <laughs> And I will be very open and honest with you as much as I possibly can because that's the way that I appreciate things. So with that said, um, I know that the refrigerator has caused mass issues and we are working on getting another refrigerator for the downstairs. So that will get there. Just give me a minute, we're working on it. Two, if you want ice cold pop, snacks, whatever, come up and get them. They're upstairs. Um, they sell for a dollar a piece. There's all kinds of chocolate. There's Starburst. There's Skittles. There's M&Ms. There's, I don't know. There's tons of candy up there. There's tons of ice cold pop. If it's something that you want, come up and find it. Buck a piece. Feels great on a, on a hot day. We are, will always supply water to you guys. If you want a bottle of water, come up. Ask for it. Free of charge. I need to keep you guys hydrated and going as much as I can. So please reach out if that's something that you need. Um, there are have and have been other changes. Obviously, you know, we have asked you guys to clean up after yourselves, throw your papers away, throw your food away when you're done with it, um, keep the bathroom tidy, and I'm gonna ask that those things keep going. Um, you make a mess, clean it up. Simple as that, I am not your mom and I will not police you like your mom but I'm gonna ask you to keep your house clean like your mom. This is our home. This is where we go to work and it should be a presentable place of employment. So please keep up with your mess. If you if you make a mess, clean it up. Simple stuff. Um, parking in the yard um, for school buses. Make sure that you are parking tight and close to one another. It seems to be a problem that every yard that I have ever been in 
has ever encountered because everyone is short on parking. Um, make sure that you are parking close to one another. Don't hit each other, but obviously park close enough to one another where you know we can fit those buses in the row that we need to. Parking in the employee parking lot, please be considerate of your the parkers around you. We don't wanna leave three, four, 10 feet between and not be able to park a car there. Please, again, park close, obviously not too close, but please park close. Um, fueling, I know that fueling has been an issue. Again, just please be kind to one another. If you need to wait a moment to fuel or to park, please wait the few moments to fuel or to park. It's as simple as that. We are all adults here, we are not toddlers and we can behave like that. So please be considerate of one another. Um, I wanted to clear up, uh, let's call it a rumor from today that I am once again taking money away from you guys and that is not the case. Um, I guess rumor going around is that I will not pay you guys for afternoon charters or routes or things like that. The verbiage that I used was that I would look into what your former rules were. Um, every office that I have worked in, if you have given up your afternoon route, if you have given up your afternoon standby time, then you would not be paid route pay for your guarantee two hours. You would be paid your charter pay because that was your choice. It was brought to my attention that it was has been a hard and fast rule for years prior that you would receive your two hours of route pay no matter what you did. My words were, I would look into it and find out, and that is what I meant. So I will look into it, I will figure out what I can, and we will go forward with that. Um, if that's what it has been, then that's what we can continue it as. Um, but we can't have people that are gone constantly because they're doing charter work and they expect that they're gonna get paid 24 seven when they're constantly just doing charters. If that's the case, then just be a charter driver. So again, we'll look into that. I'll take care of it. I'll put it out there. We'll make it official and we'll go from there. Um, I do have a possible, uh, they call it a TDY, temporary duty yonder, which means, you know, go to another CSC far away. Um, it is an opportunity that we can only really afford to have one driver do, but I'm going to put it out there. If it is something you were interested in, it is in Minnesota. It would not start until September. Um, I do have to check into a couple things and make sure that it's still guaranteed and full on. Um, but again, it's something we're only really going to be able to allow one driver to do because we have needs in our own office too. Um, but it would be eight hours a day at guaranteed route pay at our rate, rate of pay here. And then it is a $50 a day per diem um, for food and things like that. So if that's something that you're interested in, please come and see me. It's going to be a first come first serve kind of thing. Let me know. Um... What was it? Oh, um, the seating charts. A lot of issues with seating charts. Everybody has a question on seating charts and I get it. I swear to you, I understand where you're coming from. It is a pain in the, um, but let me put it to you this way. It's not an option we have. Um, the reason why they're doing seating charts is because Illinois Department of Health has required that the school provides seating charts. So if a child were to come down with COVID and they had to quarantine, um, they need to know who they need to quarantine. And it's not like they have in years past where they would just be able to say, oh, kid rode bus six, and they would go from there. They're requiring, Illinois, Illinois Department of Health is requiring a seating chart to be available and present. So District 117 has given us these binders. You guys all have them, you have all seen them. I'm gonna use piece of paper as my example. Um, so we have the seating chart in your binder, you open it up and it's got pages in it with the seating chart on it. So when I talk to district 117, um, it, it's a very tricky thing because seating charts for high schoolers always change. It's always different. You may have this kid that rides today. He may not ride next week. He may not ride in a month, but then he's there after that because the sport has ended. What we're going to do, I believe, you, you do it the best way that works for you, but what I believe will work best, come in and see Meg and I, get some note cards. We're gonna label your seats with note cards. White note card, black marker, one, two, three, four. One side of your bus even numbers, one side of your bus odd numbers, okay? In your seating chart, as your students get on or off the bus, whatever you wanna do, have them write down the seat number. So when they are getting off the bus for the day at school in the morning, 
Little Johnny sat in seat seven. He goes right seat seven. He can put his initials. He can put his ID number. He can put his name. Does not matter. It just has to be legible. So please make sure that you have a seating chart. It's really per day. So school's kind of said, after things settle down, give it about two weeks that we've got consistent seating charts. If that's the case, then just add in the extra ones that you get. And then you don't have to fill them out per day. But the easiest way in my mind, in their mind to do it, let's put numbers up on your bus so everyone can see what seat they're sitting in. And then they just write it down on the piece of paper where they put their initials, they put whatever. I don't care. We just have to get it done. Should not be a huge issue. If you have questions or concerns, please, please come and see me. This is not our grand idea. This is not Durham's grand idea. It's not the high school's grand idea. It's Illinois Department of Health. So that's that one. The other big thing that we need to talk about, and that's this is really why I, I wanted to do this because I wanted to explain it. I don't think putting it in writing would have been the best way to go about it. So um, I don't know how many of you have seen um, our governor's press conference from today. Um, for those of you that have, you understand where I'm coming with this. For those of you that have not, I highly suggest that you can go watch it. However, I'm gonna go over it with you right now. So number one, um, Governor Pritzker has put on, put a mask order mandate back in place for all indoor facilities. This means that in our building, we once again have a mask mandate. If you are in the driver's room, if you are passing through, you need to be wearing your mask. I know it's frustrating. I know it's annoying. It is what it is and we have no option. Please make sure you're doing it. Number two, I need you guys to make sure that you are temperature screening in the morning and checking. If you are not doing that, I need you to do it. This list will be checked daily. And for those of you that are not following guidelines, we're gonna have to sit down and have conversations. It's not something that, it's just the way that it is, guys. It's just what it is. Lastly, um, Governor Pritzker has announced a vaccine mandate for all education workers. Bus drivers, transportation fall within this vaccine mandate. I do not care where you stand on the vaccine issue. I do not care if you're for it, if you are against it. Um, you can be whatever you want to be. I mean, I cannot tell you, nor will I tell you what needs to go in your body. That is on you. What I can tell you is what the mandate states and that we do fall under it. So what I can tell you is there is a vaccine mandate. And if you choose to not be vaccinated, which again is 100% your call, you will have to go through at a minimum weekly testing. We're working out exactly where that testing will be. My guess is probably the district office for the high school, um, but we are working that out right now. What I need from you, and I need it from you now, like Friday and Monday, is for those of you that have been vaccinated, I need a copy of your vaccine card. I need you to bring that either to myself or to Megan. There's no exceptions. Myself or Megan, you make a copy, you get it right back. For those of you that have not been vaccinated, Again, that is fine. That is your right. Don't care. I need to know that you have not been. It is not something that I wanted to come to you guys and say, hey, this is what it is, but this is what it is. This is from the governor. We have no choice in the matter. It is you're vaccinated or you're getting tested weekly. And again, this tested weekly, it's, it's weekly it could increase, I don't know. It is not my job or my goal to make your life any more difficult than what it is. And I am so sorry that it has come down to this. If there is anything that I can do, you need to let me know. If there is any way that I can help you, you need to let me know. If you want to become vaccinated and you have not had that opportunity or you need help finding a site, come and talk to me. I will help get you through that process. If you do not want to be vaccinated again, that is fine and I support you in that decision. Um, but I need this information over the next couple of days. So please make sure that you reach out and let me know what you've got. Other than that, 
I think that's it. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. I know it's a little longer. It's almost 15 minutes, so I'm going to sign off. I hope you guys have a fantastic night. I am going to send out an email to you guys right now with this information in it, um, and I will have it posted up around the building. Again, enjoy. Take care. I will see you guys soon, probably tomorrow morning, and uh, have a good night, guys. Bye.